Hi, my name is Arika Lewinsky, and I'm a product manager here at GitLab for the Progressive Delivery Group under the release stage. Today, I want to walk through how you can set up merge trains on your pipeline. So in order to do that, I want to demonstrate a very simple project. Here's what my GitLab CI YAML file looks like. It has two stages, test and deploy. And we're going to need to do two actions in order to enable merge trains. So the first one is we need to go under, into the settings under general. We have here merge request. We're going to expand it. And what we need to do is we need to enable this option. Merge pipelines will try to validate the post merge results prior to merging. Pipelines need to be configured to enable this feature. So over here, we already have a hint about the next action that we're going to do, but we're going to complete this one first. So I check this option and I need to save changes. And the next thing I need to do is go to my GitLab CI YAML file and add a little bit um, of content there. So I'm going to open the web IDE. And I'm going to go to my deploy stage and I'm going to add here this keyword only merge requests, which means that this will only run in merge requests. Since merge trains is related to merge requests, this is what we're going to add uh, into the YAML file. So I'm going to go ahead and commit it. Okay, and I'm going to submit my merge request. You can already see that now my button instead of merge says start merge train when pipeline succeed. Um, and we can see the pipeline running. Let's check it out. Now you can see, um, this is a little trick that I wanna show you, is that my pipeline had two stages originally, test and deploy. And now in this pipeline, I only have a deploy stage. And the reason that happens is because we added the only merge request option to this specific stage. And that's why this is the only stage that's running on the pipeline. I'm assuming that you would probably want more than one job to uh, run in your pipeline. So we have um, two options that we can do in order to fix this solution, this problem. So one thing that I can do is go into the web ID again and go to my other job, my test job, and add the same thing. Just make sure it's indented correctly. I'm going to go ahead and, com and commit this. And you can see that both of the stages now appear. Now, the solution is really nice if you have one or two jobs, but if you have many, um, it's not feasible to add this only merge request to each and every um, job. So there's an, a very nice, neat way to do it uh, using uh, workflow rules. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So I'm gonna go back to the merge request and I'm going to open the web IDE. And I'm going to erase the two additions to the only merge request that I added, because once we use the workflow flow rules, they're no, no, no longer needed. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the workflow rules here. And you can see we have workflow rules, if CI commit reference equals master, and if CI merge request IID, I'm going to go ahead and commit this. And I'm going to go back to the merge request and see what's going on. So you can still see that we have the start merge train button. And then we're going to go take a look at the pipeline. And you can see we have both pipelines. I'm going to wait for both of them uh, to complete.
Okay, now both the jobs have succeeded. I'm going to go back to the merge request. I'm going to start merge train. And what this is going to do is going to merge it into the master. I'm going to let this run a little bit and then we'll see uh, what the new GitLab CI YAML file looks at the end in master. Another thing I'd like to point out is uh, if I go back to the merge request itself, is that uh, when the, uh, the pipeline is running and the merge train uh, will tell you exactly the position where the MR is located in. So you can see that this is a single merge request that was added to the merge train. So it's in position one, meaning it's the one that's running at the moment. Okay, and there we go. It was merged into master. Let's take a look. Okay, so this is the new GitLab CI YAML file. So you can see that the original um, stages are as before with the addition of the workflow rules, which is a really convenient way um, to do this and to enable merge trains. I hope uh, this video was helpful and I'll see you next time.